Hello everyone. We're still working in chapter 3 and we're continuing on with lesson 3 hyphen 4. So let me go ahead and open the end of the lesson reviews and I'm going to click on the working papers 3.4 3 hyphen 4 excuse me. And that's loaded and it's still a continuation of journalizing so with that and I have I opened my book in advance so you can see that I can see the transactions there because I scroll the bottom of my journal see on page one of my journal it kind of keeps kind of loses track so anyway we're gonna go ahead and journalize these transactions um, on the 22nd paid cash for a water bill and in parentheses it gave us utilities expense but if you looked at the chart of if you looked at the list of accounts there you would not find water bill but you do find utilities expense but they helped us out a little bit and this is check seven this is my source document that's where I'm getting the information from in real life is from my source document and I paid cash for hundred eighty dollars that's my credit Kind of tips me off. I know cash is going to be credited when you see the source document is check. So it's the way it is. But anyway, we go to the 23rd. Sold services on account to K Span. I don't know how you say that name for sure, but I assume that's right. So it's accounts receivable. and my source document is S2 and it's for $345 what a great customer they can buy all day as long as they pay us on a regular basis $345 is my credit so I did debit account receivable for case van of $345 and I did a credit to sales for $345 and that's an increase of both accounts remember sells is an owner's equity account so on the 26th is my next account next transaction receive cash from sales so cash we've done this one before and this time notice the it's T26 is my source document for the cash register tape on the 26th the date matches up and it's for $980 is my debit to cash and credit to sales. I just noticed it automatically capitalizes the letters for me. So now I'm on the 27th of April. Um, and it said paid cash or paid cash in order for withdrawal of equity of $420 using check number 8 so um, it's going to be Norma Dirk's drawing and it's a check 8 is that right yes Four hundred twenty dollars in cash is my credit for four hundred twenty dollars. So now I'm on to the twenty seventh. Still, I still have another one I need to take care of here. This is paid cash for supplies and. It's a credit of $66, or debit to $66 to supplies, credit to cash. So it, hopefully this is becoming a little more routine for you. And looks like I ran out of space, but I, because I have, um, I'm on the 27th, but I have three more transactions. But never worry we can always go on to the next page page two 
and then do this one. So now we're on the 28th. We're on the April 28th. And it says paid cash for postage expense for postage for $35. And they use miscellaneous um, because they probably don't spend a lot of money on postage. Just a little bit here and there. Probably have a set of stamps in their drawer so when they need it. And it's a debit of 35 and cash is my credit for 35. So I did I did a debit to miscellaneous expense um, for $35 and a credit to cash for $35. And my source document, I got the information from my check number 10. So now I'm on the 29th of April. I'm on page two of the journal. Received cash on account from K Spanner. So cash is going to be my debit. Anytime you receive cash, it's going to be a receipt three, this case, and it's $200. And it's accounts receivable. Remember, that's an asset account. And that's a credit for two hundred dollars. Okay, so we, we just moved. They just paid us in cash, so we moved from one account, one asset account, to another asset account. And then on the thirtieth, uh, received cash from sales, so cash. Got to spell cash right. And this is T. 30 for cash register tape on the 30th of April. That's $745. And sales is my credit for $745. So sales are a good thing. It increases owner's equity, increases profit. We do well and everybody's happy. Um, but that's it. So we finished up this working together. Um, should be able to do on your own, three hyphen four, but good luck and enjoy.